right guys, so we are gonna try this for maybe a fourth time now. Just having audio issues with this damn GoPro. Whew. We got to get moving. Let's try this again, shall we? Take five for crying out loud, plagued by audio issues. And I gotta get moving down the road. It is hot as a mother in here. sport or even some sport seats like the q50 sport they they just don't do it you know if you're really driving aggressively it can become you can become very fatigued by the end of the day and that's actually dangerous it's difficult to hold yourself in place and maintain control of the car when you're when you're just wore out from trying to keep yourself planted so they really do what they're supposed to do uh, materials super high quality materials know that Corbo is going to produce some of the best quality stuff on the market. They're not the cheapest by any means, uh, but when you're looking for a racing seat, you can't, and, and harness in particular, you, you, you shouldn't skimp. Uh, there's a little more flexibility when it comes to a fixed back seat because you're not necessarily worried about the reclining mechanism failing or anything in a rear end collision. Uh, but if you want to eliminate all doubt from your mind, just go with Corbo. Or a, or, or a brand like Corvo, you, you know, you want to go with a quality brand. Uh, I should say, too, in all just in all fairness and uh, full disclosure, uh, Corvo really hooked me up with these seats. Uh, they were happy to partner with me for this project, this 350C project. So I'm super pumped about that and really, really appreciative. But I gotta say that it has no bearing whatsoever on my final opinions on these seats. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it real for you. I always do. Gonna, I'm going to give you my fair and honest opinion about any given product. And uh, if you watch my channel, you'll know that to be true. Sorry. Tell me life. Uh, what other pros? What other pros? Installation. The installation is very simple. Uh, there's no installation instructions per se, but they do reference a YouTube video. Now, of course, I have a YouTube video out there to install these seats. Very simple. Uh, Corbo also offers a made-to-order seat bracket for you, so you know that it's going to fit your, your particular platform and bolt right to these seats. So there's no doubts uh, when it comes to the installation as well, and that's important. 
but I will say too that if you already have some C brackets or a universal C bracket, chances are it's probably going to mate up to these. So uh, there's benefits there that you know Corbo does offer the brackets, but you probably be able to set something up to reuse a bracket that you already have or a planted bracket or whatever you want to do. But I'd recommend just going with the Corbo bracket. You know it's going to fit, and that's that's what it's all about. Um, they also offer sliders. They included sliders with my brackets. I think I think they gave them to me. I don't know. They hooked me up with them, but I wasn't expecting them, so I would assume that you have to purchase them separately. Uh, but they do offer them as well. They slide really nicely. They give you that flexibility. If it is a dual-purpose vehicle, you don't always have to sit in that same crunched-up position that you would on the track. Um, if you're going to drive it to work one day or you're going to run some errands, um, you know, you can slide yourself back and forth and that's really nice the other thing is they do have the side mount brackets as well so you can get yourself a little bit lower so you can get some helmet clearance if that's something you're uh, looking for so there's a lot of flexibility a lot of options um, this seat I should say fits someone with a 36 inch waist I'm about a 34 inch waist six feet tall about 195 pounds they fit me very very snugly so if you're a little bigger than that uh, you're going to be pushing the limits of these seats but have no fear Corbo has other options available so it's not like you have to get these necessarily. Um, you can search their website, hit the link in the description below, and you'll see that they have a wide range of offerings. Wide range of color selections as well. I chose to go with black with this kind of carbon fiber vinyl pattern. It looks super nice, really sleek, and I went with the fabric because it breathes a lot better than the vinyl. The vinyl seats, you're constantly sweating here. At, uh, I'm dripping profusely, but it's just hot as shit. I don't have AC, it's a 350Z, what the hell you want? I think in terms of positive points, we, we hit them. Easy installation, high quality materials, fantastic looks. They hold you in place and do what they're supposed to do. Not much more, a lot, a range of options for you as well. So uh, not much more you can say about them. They check a lot of boxes in terms of the pros. Cons, I honestly don't have a whole lot to say. Price point, they're, they're not cheap, I'll say that. Uh, but like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, you're going for something that is going to be holding you in place and supporting you in a spirit of driving or a competitive driving situation. So uh, price point shouldn't be your main concern, in my opinion. Uh, but just for example, the seats are about 400 bucks a piece, just shy of $400 a piece. The brackets, I think, are 125 or 150 a piece. The sliders, I'm not sure what they are, but generally they go for 80 to to $100 a piece and the harnesses, 250 a piece. So if you're looking to get the full setup, you're gonna be, you know, it's gonna be a couple thousand dollars. Uh, but don't let that scare you. You're getting a lot for your money. High quality stuff when I tell you, I mean, did you hear the click on those buckles? Oh my God, sounds amazing. Uh, but other cons, the only thing initially, my, first, my very first impression was, oh, I wish there was a little bit more support here in the lumbar region. Hold on. it does hold you in place um, but my first first impression was like okay wow there's a lot of support here on the seat but right here in my lower back I wish there was more lateral support that was my first impression however when you get these five-point harnesses installed and you really cinch yourself down I, I leave them loose because I'm driving around I want flexibility I want to be able to touch the camera but when they're cinched you're not moving I mean like it'll hold you in place so the combination of where the support is on the seat combined with the harness themselves you're there's no movement you are secure and you don't have to worry about it so that concern that I had initially was completely eliminated and negated once I had the harnesses installed and, and cinched down so honestly for cons I don't have anything I don't have anything to say if you're on a tight budget and you're looking for something that's a little bit better than a um, your factory seat then this might not be the option for you because it's they're not cheap. Uh, but nothing negative. I mean, just a great all-around seat. And that's what I'm gonna say overall, is that it checks so many boxes, it makes it the ideal seat for a multi-use, multi-purpose vehicle. They're comfortable enough and they allow, you know, that you have line of sight, you have a little bit of freedom in terms of movement. Uh, there's not some big supports up here by your head. You can really, you have clear vision to your periphery and that's important in a car that you drive sort of on a daily basis on the road. Um, but they're going to be sufficient enough on a spirited drive or a track day 
to really do what you need them to do. And uh, there's not many combinations, not many seat and harness combinations out there that will do that for you. They're either too aggressive or not aggressive enough. And uh, you know, you know you're getting some good stuff when you go with Corbo. So that's my final input. High quality stuff, easy installation, looks fantastic, supports you like it's supposed to, and there aren't many negative aspects to touch on at all. So check out the link in the description below if you guys are interested in seats like this. I highly, highly recommend them. The team at Corbo is fantastic. Uh, they're great with customer support. They're great at answering any questions that you might need. And their lead times are real short. And that, there's a lot to say about that these days. But now, listen to this click. Listen to this click. Okay, I'll unbuckle it and then I'll clip it back in just so you can hear it. Hopefully the mic picks it up. Listen to this. Oh God, that sounds so good. Oh, I love it. Can't be beat. I'll say uh, ease of getting in and out is not bad either, but you have to have reasonable expectations, just like comfort. The fixed back bucket seat, you don't just hop out of them. But you gotta roll out.